Peace Reflections. You are over here with Tarithia. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button because we are here for another video. Now, the video that we are doing today, they said Tarithia. You still got that button on. I do not reflection, but I am not on camera today, but it doesn't matter. We're still doing our um heartbroken spell. Okay, now this one actually came by request. Okay, so um this is a quick spell that you can do by yourself reflection if you are going through a little heartbreak hope tell you with the heartbreak if you at the heartbreak hotel it's time for you to check out reflection yes it is time for you to check out because you got shit to do okay now with that being said if this if you are new to my channel then definitely hit the subscribe button hit the follow button hit the um like button reflection make sure you hit out there because you never want to miss out on another good video you never know what i'm talking about now today or tonight whenever you click this video we are talking about how to make a healing second now what is a healing second we all um know the experience of love and how love feels it it just feels great to be in love doesn't it reflection but we don't talk about that feeling when um you have to go to the heartbreak hotel we're not talking about what do you do what do the lonely do when they need love what they do reflection they said no you didn't Tariq. i tried to hit a reflection <coughs> I'm going to work on it. I'm going to get it better next time. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it next time. Okay. But what do the lonely do when they need love? Well, before you go looking for love, first you need to make sure you have healed. First you need to make sure you did your shadow work. And if you having a little issue, you get what I'm saying, Tariq? That was my everything. That was my man, man. That was my woman, Tariq. That was my other half. I just didn't see nothing past them. Well, reflection, you may need a little extra to get you over that hump. This comes in with the healing second. Now, to make this second, all you need is a couple of jasmine flowers, or you can use jasmine essential oil. If you have some jasmine incense, you can like break those up and put them in there as well, improv improvising, okay? Now, you need rose petals and you need, um, of course, of course, honeysuckle flowers or just any white flower, okay? Because I'm just using any white flower today, reflection. I don't have the, hon the honeysuckle on me right now, okay? And the crystals that we are using is either a rose quartz crystal or a clear quartz crystal. We know rose quartz bring in, it brings in love. So me personally... I would use the clear quartz crystal um, more than I would the rose quartz. But since we are using a black second, a little black bag reflection, then you could use the rose quartz. But what you wouldn't want is a um pink. You wouldn't want a pink second, okay? Because we're not bringing in love. We're trying to push that energy away, okay? Well, the energy from um that you were in this relationship with, all right? After you cleared that energy, then we can call in love. But right now, we're trying to push out that old energy. And we know that black, just like obsidian crystal, it um absorbs negative energy. All right? So... With that being said, who knows? You could have went through a negative relationship. That breakup could have could have been very hard for you. Okay, now let's um let's get into it. Reflection. Now I do not even have my rose petals here. Now I should have been prepared. I know what you're thinking, Tarithia. You should have been prepared. I really should have reflection, but don't you even worry about it because we are about to um. I'm going to do it on camera. I'm just going to have to get them on camera. And between me and you, I really hate to do this reflection because I have so much stuff. So much stuff to move just to get to these rolls on um, these rolls pillars. So let me stop this video real quick and I'm going to come back. Okay, so now we are back. Now I have my rose quartz. I said my rose quartz. I have my rose petals. I had to dig in my box reflection and find my rose petals. Okay, so I have my rose petals. I have my um white flower. Okay, this is, you know, this isn't a honeysuckle. But, and don't talk about my flower. I know it's been through some things. It's been through some things, reflection. But it's always better to have what you need so you don't got to look for what you need. Just like to read the ads. Okay? So this is um a particular white flower. Any white flower will do if you don't have a honeysuckle, okay? So what else do we need? We need either a rose quartz crystal or a clear quartz, okay? So this is what the rose quartz crystal look like. It's pink reflection, okay? Not all crystal, not all rose, all rose quartz is pink, but not all crystals um dealing with love is pink okay but this is a bigger piece of rose quartz right here 
But since we are using it for a satchel, a healing satchel, we could, if you're going to use rose quartz, just get a very small one, okay? Or you could use clear quartz. This is what I'm using, actually, okay? So this is clear quartz. Rose um, rose quartz is used for, um, like, calling in energy and things like that. That's the only reason I'm just not going to use it. You can, but I'm not because I want this spell to be amplified. And I'm going to use the clear quartz because it deals with um, absorbing negative energy energy and repel the negative energy okay so we have our clear quartz we have our white flower or honeysuckle and we have our rose petals and our black setch okay so you can either use black or you can use white do not use pink okay do not use pink because we're not calling in love we're um pushing out negative energy from our last relationship okay so what, and we also need some jasmine oil. If you got jasmine incense, you can use jasmine incense, okay? But I am going to use the jasmine essential oil. I may use the incense just because I'm literally going to have to stop the video again, reflection, and find and find my um find my essential oil. I know I'm just unprepared. Hold on, reflection. Okay, we are back, reflection. I told you I have to dig and buy some of my stuff. But it's always better to have it than to give it. You get what I'm saying? Than having to go get it. That's why it's always good to have your materials in abundance. All right? So, right here, even if you don't need it at the time, you are so you're like, oh, there go that jasmine oil. There go that, um tea tree oil oh there go a little rosemary let me get that so next time i never know when i need that in a spell or some do you believe in magic reflection okay we're talking about coming to master our craft all right so this is um actually the jasmine essential oil that we're going to use okay and it doesn't have to be the oil you can use the incense too but if you use the incense you're gonna have to break them up and put them in there okay so i'm going to use the essential oil all right so what we're going to do is we're going to um Put the rose petals in first, okay? Because we put love on the foundation, baby. We trying to bury that right there, that negative energy, baby. We got to bury that. Put that, put it in there. Just get you one little hand, just a little pinch. You don't need all that. Just put a little pinch in that reflection. I don't, I never understand why people be, um, putting a whole lot of their material. I'm like, baby, you don't even need all that. You don't even need all that. Just a little pinch, just a little pinch. Now, we're actually going to break three parts off this flower. One, two, you see how I'm pushing up the, um, the things, three okay reflection we taking it off so ain't nothing there but a naked foundation baby when, when we left reflection it is nothing but a bare foundation on that air shout out to us baby we can't leave nothing left. we can't leave nothing there for reflection we can't leave any hope on the tree all right so uh, you're gonna put that into your um into your satchel so you got your rose your rose petals then you put your white flower or your honeysuckle in there after you have done that reflection we are going to put three drops three drops reflection of our jasmine essential oil if you are using the incense i'm gonna show you how to do that in a second but we're just gonna use three um drops one two three of our essential oil okay after that, you want to get your rose quartz, okay? And you want to put it on there. This isn't, this is if you aren't using incense. If you're using incense, this is what you're going to do. You want to get one of your incense. You don't need nothing but one. Break it in six. One, two. You know, that's tough breaking them sometimes, but just think of it like the connection. Three four five six we just broke that connection the connection could have been a little tough reflection but as you are breaking it think of all the bonds and the ties that you had with that particular person and you breaking it with the incense baby shout out to you okay we over here talking about that do you believe in magic and you want to put them all into your satchel put it into your satchel so your incense or your jasmine essential oil should be the last thing that goes into the satchel well next to the last thing okay after that we're going to seal it with our crystal whether you are using rose um quartz or clear quartz i prefer clear quartz though okay and we're going to close it up before you close it up speak it i send all negative energy to the sender anything that does not serve me in my last relationship send that energy back to that relationship i cut all ties i cut all connections i cut all bonds and closed it okay we using the power of three you always got to do three so use three ink use three um 
incantations so what do i mean when i say incantations come up with you three lines of what you are trying to banish out concerning that person and make sure you speak it and before you speak it your very last line reflection as you speak it close it throw it at a crossroad or some running water until next time i say <laughs>